Misty Oreo here from Citizenship Academy. Today we're going to learn something new. So we've already learned a bunch of different parts of speech. We've learned nouns, which are person, place, or thing. Beautiful. We've learned verbs, which are action words. Very good, like running, jumping, cheering, all those fun things. And we've learned briefly adjectives. Remember, adjectives are words that describe things like blue, beautiful, colorful, happy, words like that. Today we're going to be talking about pronouns, okay? Pronouns are words that can be used to replace nouns. I promise that'll make sense. So let's start with reading these two sentences. It says, Kate went on a trip. She was sad at the start of the trip. Who was sad at the start of the trip? Kate, right? This first sentence tells you who this is about, what our noun is. Kate is sad at the start of the trip. Does this second sentence start with the word Kate though? No, right? I underlined it. She's, it starts with the word she. She is a pronoun. So instead of writing Kate for the second sentence, we wrote she. The she we're talking about is Kate. Kate went on a trip. She was sad at the start of the trip. But then it got better. I think Kate had a great time. All right, let's try with this sentence. Two sentences, sorry. Kate met Jack in the coin shop. He was an expert on coins. Who was an expert on coins? Jack, right? Even though Kate's here, name is here, we're talking about Jack is an expert on coins. Jack is our noun that we're going to replace in the second sentence with the word he. So instead of saying Kate met Jack in the coin stop, shop, Jack was an expert on coins, we took Jack out and we replaced it with this pronoun, he. He was an expert on coins. All right, starting to get the hang of it a little bit. Let's try one more. Go ahead and read the sentence. Kate found a coin. It was made of silver. What was made of silver? Was Kate made of silver or the coin? Coin, good. The coin is our noun, and the word it is replacing it in our second sentence. So instead of saying Kate had found a coin, the coin was made of silver, we took the coin, the word coin out, and we replaced it with the pronoun it. It was made of silver. Pronouns are just a way to shorten your sentences. So you don't have to keep writing people's names or keep writing the nouns over and over again. It's just a little word that can replace our noun. So there's a lot of different pronouns, but today we're just gonna focus on three, the three we just went over. We're gonna focus on he, she, and it. Now, when you're using your pronouns in your sentences, you have to make sure that it matches the noun. So I can't say Kate had a great time with Nan. It laughed a lot. It doesn't make sense. We'd have to say she laughed a lot. You gotta make sure your pronoun makes sense with your sentence. So I'm gonna give you a sentence and I want you to tell me which pronoun either he, she, or it is going to, we can use to replace the noun. So for example, I'm gonna give you the sentence, Jeff had a party. Jeff is our noun. I want to take Jeff out. What pronoun am I going to use to replace it with? He. We could say he had a party. Jeff had a party or he had a party. Beautiful. Try this one. Lucy played outside. What pronoun could I replace Lucy with? She. Very good. She played outside instead of Lucy played outside. Wonderful. The dog barked loudly. So depending on if it's a boy or a girl dog, we could do he or she, or we could also just say it barked loudly if we don't know, right? 
Let's do one more. John ran outside. Which word? He. He ran outside. Very, very good. So this is new. It's a little weird, but I think it's going to be pretty natural for a lot of you because we use these words, he, she, and it a lot. So to help you out a little bit, I'm very excited because this helped me out when I was a kid. We're going to watch a Schoolhouse Rock pronoun video. Now, in this video, you're going to notice these people's, the people in the video have really long names. So instead of saying their really long names over and over and over again, they use our pronouns. He, she, and it. You ready? I'm going to make myself disappear, and I will play it for you. Name Rufus Xavier Sasparilla, and I could say that Rufus found a kangaroo that followed Rufus home, and now that kangaroo belongs to Rufus Xavier Sasparilla. I could say that, but I don't have to, because I got pronouns. I can say he found a kangaroo that followed him home, and now it is his. You see, he, him, and his our pronouns replacing the noun. Rufus Xavier Sasparilla, a very proper noun. And it is a pronoun, replacing the noun, kangaroo, how common. Now Rufus has a sister named Raffaella Gabriella Sasparella. If she found a kangaroo, I'd say to you, she found a kangaroo that followed her home. And now it is hers, but I can't say that, because she found an odd vibe that fell in love with her, and they're so happy. And my name's Albert Andrea Samadilla, no relation to the Sarsaparillas. Because of pronouns, I can say, I wish she would find a rhinoceros for me, and we'd be happy. You see, a pronoun was made to take the place of a noun. Cause saying all those nouns over and over can really wear you down. Now I could tell you Raffaella, Gabriella, and Rufus Xavier Sarsaparilla, and Albert Andrea Samadilla found an aardvark, a kangaroo, and a rhinoceros. And now that aardvark and that kangaroo and that rhinoceros belong respectively to Raffaella, Gabriella, Sarsaparilla, and Rufus Xavier Sarsaparilla, and Albert Andrea Samadilla. Because of pronouns, I can say in this way, we found them and they found us and now they are ours and we're so happy. Thank you, pronoun. You see, a pronoun was made to take the place of a noun. Cause saying all those nouns over and over can really wear you down. Sometimes when we take them all on the bus, people really raise a fuss. They start shouting out a lot of pronouns at us like, who brought that rhinoceros on this bus? And what made that horrible noise? And which one I'm getting off first? Who, what, and which has special pronouns that can ask a question in a sense where you do not know the name of the noun. But I know I have mine and she has hers. And he has his, and you have yours. They love us and we love them. What's ours is theirs. That's how it is with friends and pronouns. You are really friends, yeah. Cause saying all those nouns over and over can really wear you down. So what I want you to get out of that is pronouns are words that take the place of nouns. If your nouns are, if you're getting way too bogged down, like our character in that video with too many nouns, use a pronoun. We're going to focus on he, she, and it, but as you saw in that video, there's tons more that we will learn and get to, I promise. So for today in your Google Classroom, you will find a Google Doc called Pronouns. Your job with this is to read the sentence, or read the two sentences, I'm sorry, and decide what word is a pronoun. I'm going to give you a hint. It's going to be one of these three words, okay? So let's do number one together, and then you can do the rest on your own. There are only five. No problem. So number 
one says, Kate is nine. She wrote a book. Who wrote a book? Kate. But this sentence does not start with Kate. It starts with the pronoun she. So I'm going to type the word she in the box because she is our pronoun talking about Kate, replacing Kate or now. Sound good? Just write the pronoun in the box. You don't have to do anything else. Good job today, guys. I will see you next time.